What's going on everybody? It's Carlos here from Viewer and today I have a kind of uh, some new gear and this is pretty cool because if you're into vlogging, you're into any kind of video work, you need a good microphone, well a company by the name of Comica, like Comic-Con, but Comica, I guess that's how you would say it, sent me over this microphone and if you've seen this microphone before, you know uh, it kind of looks like the Rode Video Micro, and most likely it was made in the same manufacturing building, and now they put a different name. But the cool thing about this is it's priced just a little bit under what the Rode mic would be, which is what I'm using right now, the Rode Micro. Um, so it'll be a good comparison to see the two sound. And I'll tell you this, if this sounds anything like the Micro does, then I say, it's gonna be a tough choice not to get this because this comes with a few more little gadgets, a few more little things in its uh, box than the Micro does. But again, that's gonna be for you to decide and find out for yourself. Again, everything you're hearing right now up to this point is being played through the Micro and uh, this is what I use for my vlogging camera. So let's see what's in this box. So uh, let's get right into this box. Um, we're not gonna go too detailed into the box itself, but anyways, it's cardio. It has some cool features. We're gonna go over what's in the box, so that's more important right now. So let's open this thing up and see what is there. I love this case that it comes with. I'm really impressed that it comes with this case because you have a few um, things in here which are going to be, um, well, we're gonna be looking at them right now. So right away we got the dead cat. This is a pretty unique dead cat. It's it's nice. Uh, how well it works, we'll test that stuff out. But anyways, so you have your dead cat. You also have your windscreen. This is cool. The other company did not provide a windscreen, which is more low key, more low profile. Is one of the things that I really like about it. You also have two cables. You have one because this will be compatible with a cell phone and so you have one that be compatible to a cell phone and that is the one with the gray tip on it and the way you notice it it's for the cell phone because it has three lines and that is the way cell phones work they have the three i forgot what they're called but that's how it works it has the three um stripes on it and just for a camera itself it has only two the other cable itself is um goes directly into the camera and like i said the way you tell the difference this cable has two black tips on it the other one has a gray and a black which means that one is used for your cell phone just if so you're curious but we'll move on to the actual Ryko adjustment as you see it has two of the actual suspension like the like what they use uh the road uses the Ryko version this uses a two um two of them so you're gonna get even more stability i guess tick, 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 something like that uh but we're gonna test all that stuff out so again this thing brings a lot of really cool things um the, the carrying case itself it's made out of some good material uh and you just have a lot more for the money and if this thing sounds any good at all, I definitely would recommend this. But that will be proven to, I'm sorry if you hear my daughter, <laughs> but that will be proven until we get some audio samples of this and hear. Um, so let's move into some of that. So right now I actually have the Kamaka uh, microphone. It's, uh, let's see what the model number is. It's CV, CVM VM10. I'm not gonna keep saying that, so I'll just call it the CV10. Um, and this is what you're listening to right now. So if you can hear a difference, you guys let me know. But I think um, I heard a small sample size right before I put this on. And so far, everything sounds good. Now, I have heard that the cord itself could be a little bit of an issue. I don't know right now. I haven't really heard a lot, but we're gonna go through some audio samples. We'll get you some ambient samples and stuff like that. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. So, I don't know. It's so far so good. It's exactly the same microphone. I mean, here is my Rode Micro. And you can see now one of the differences I noticed right away was like this has the Ryko suspension, right? So, it's it's a one suspension um, 
tool in a sense where the microphone, the CV10, the, or, or is it, uh, the V, the VM10 um, uses like a dual version of this. And then this little piece right here is different itself. But uh, the cord seems to be fairly similar. I would say the Rode has a bit of a little bit more of a thicker cord. Um, but, uh, and then this on mine, I actually made this for myself because I was never really a fan of this guy right here. It just bulked up the camera itself and I like to be as low key as possible. And that's one of the reasons why I like this little adapter uh, um, windshield that it comes with because it's smaller, it fits the camera itself and it seems to be working pretty good. Now, again, I like this a lot <clears throat> because it's about the same size as the one I have. I could always put that on there. This would be great for GoPros, any small DSLR or DSLR in general to get good audio. Benefits of this is it's just plug and play. It's drawing the power right from the camera. So you don't have to worry about did I turn on the mic? Am I getting good audio? All this stuff has to do with, you know, having a, a versatile microphone like this. That's why I've always gone to this as my vlogging camera. Um, but again, it comes with this dead cat. Um, it's not as bulky as the other one, which I'll show you right here. You can see the two, which we'll look at together. This is from the road. And you, you're hearing my daughter probably. And this is from the Kamika. All right. So again, all the audio you're hearing is from the Kamika CVM VM10. And I think uh, if it sounds anything close to the Rode Micro, I have to say that it might be a contender for anyone who's looking and getting some scratch audio, getting a good microphone to vlog with, uh, because that's the key of videography and vlogs is getting good audio. That's the key. But remember, when you use these, you probably heard how I dropped off. And I'll do another test real quick or I'm gonna go and turn it. So remember, this is a shotgun mic, it's a cardio, so it's meant to be pointed at the subject that you're gonna hear best. So I'm just gonna keep talking and turn it around. And as you see, I'm probably dropping off a lot, especially once I get to the back here, it should be dropping off. I'm still seeing a pretty hot signal, which is good. But um, again, I should be dropping off and I'm coming back and I should have much clearer a little bit more bass in it and again the closer you get to it the more bass and present your voice is so that's the key with these microphones this is not something that you put on an interview um, this is something that you know within two feet to three feet you don't want to go past that point and you're gonna get some really 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 good audio let's take this outside real quick and just see how it sounds got like some phlegm in there but it'll be interesting if the microphone actually picks it up say what's up what's up man let's take this outside because it is raining so uh we got a road right here so see if you can hear the cars passing by I don't know. Here's my air conditioning. Let's see how this picks it up. So there are some audio samples. I know it's not a lot. Again, this didn't have the windshield, so if there was any wind you were picking up, that's probably because it just had the regular uh, windshield, not dead cat, I mean. Sorry, mixed that up. But anyways, those are some ambient sounds. And um, 
hopefully that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you around.